So here we are, we're looking to install the V-Ray for SketchUp trial and set up online licensing. We've already downloaded the installer, so I'll just run that now. Okay, uh, I just agree to the user agreement first of all. Okay, we've got SketchUp 2017 on this machine. So it's found that, we set that to install. It's also installed in V-Ray Swarm, which is the distributed renderer, uh, distributed render system, and the license server which we need. V-Ray Swarm we don't necessarily need at this stage, but the license server we do. Uh, it's adding firewall exceptions, um, and license server connection is going to be local on this machine. You can change that using the customize button. I'm going to install that now. Okay, so now it wants to install the online license server. I'll agree. Um, customize it just gives you the chance to change the directory in which it's installed and whether or not you want the firewall exception. It's always worth having this turned on. Um, it's not 100% foolproof, other things can get in the way, but I would definitely recommend having it on. Okay, so this part is finished. All we have to do now is watch out for the other elements that are installing in the background as well. Okay, so once the main V-Ray install is complete, which is the license server as well, it takes you to this local host address uh, in the first run and asks you to enable online licensing. Now this applies to new electronic licenses and the trial software. If you're on a USB dongle license, you don't use the online licensing uh, and it's not available to you on upgrades. It would be available if you purchased another V-Ray product. Um, but at the moment we're just focusing on these new licenses and so we're going to enable the online licensing. At this point it asks you to sign into your Chaos Group account. So we'll sign in, it makes a connection to the Chaos server, and here it's giving me my SketchUp, Vera for SketchUp 3, user, li uh, user license and the render node license. We'll just click into that. So this is the important bit. We've got a total of one and zero engage, so one is free. So we should now be able to go into SketchUp and it will connect to the license server and make Vera available to us. Okay, so the very palettes have come up, and we'll just do a quick test. Okay, so we have the very buffer window, the progress window, which illustrates that V-Ray is running happily and it's found the license. So that's great, that completes our install. We'll just quickly go back to the online license server. So this interface, when the license server process is running, then you can access it here in your browser.
if you can't access it here in your browser it, there's an indication that the license server isn't running it will normally install the option to actually restart the V-Ray online license server anyway so if you feel if you find for whatever reason this interface isn't working do have a look and see if you can start the online license server um, if you do have a dongle plugged in you'd see this available here uh, but at the moment we don't need the dongle licensing and if you have any more V-Ray licenses of any type they will just come up in this page as well